Okay, today I'm taking the forward kind of barn sour horse down the road. Uh, I don't know if you can see him, the horse over there, Appaloosa. Now he's already buddy sour with this one, and he's only just been across from him a day or so. Yeah, I think a day. So that stuff's going to happen when horses are going through changes in their lives. They lose a buddy or something, and they attach onto the very next one. So, um, so this was the forward horse. He's uh, walking well, leaving, but again, he's a little barn sour. So I would expect that when I turn around and head back towards the barn, which I'm going to do over and over again, he's going to speed up. So we'll see. He's also gotten a little spooky because he hasn't been out on trail much and there's a turkey down there. Two turkeys. Okay. So we'll go up here, rest him a little bit, turn around, walk back towards the barn. Do it over and over again. So now we're headed back towards the barn. Um, I stopped up there, let him graze, and then he started grabbing a lot of food and I knew it was going to happen. That meant he was going to take as much food as he could and then turn and go towards home. And I just let them turn. Let I try to let them make their wrong decision so they find out what happened. So now we're just serpentining back and forth. And uh, we'll go up to the entrance of the barn, maybe do some side passing or turn on the forehand and turn around and go back away. And I don't, when I'm doing things by the barn, I don't let them rest. I don't stand there and think about it. I just keep doing things. And then when you go away from the barn and you're resting them, that's when you can think about what you can do okay, next. So his friends scream into him, so that's one temptation. Um, I rode past the barn, I forgot to put it on. And when I got over there, I just started bumping him in the mouth and doing turns and when he turned away from the barn I just let him go so now we ended up this direction on the road and sooner or later he's probably going to turn around and head towards the barn when he can't control himself anymore he's thinking about it so he's just on loose rein if he doesn't do it soon I'll turn this off and Hopefully not forget to turn you back on when he turns. Hmm. You're smarter than the average bear. Uh, he did well. I actually turned him around. I don't think he was going to turn, but see, he's getting fast, so I'm just bumping him in the mouth. He's only getting fast because we're heading back towards the barn and towards his new friend. So I'll just keep bumping him. And then we'll look up here and drop the reins and see what he does. Now he's slowing down some, so I'm going to not bump him as much. But I'm not holding him, and it's his decision. So now he, I feel him, he's going towards the barn. So I'm dropping the reins, here he goes. Now I'm going to really start bumping him. Bumping him harder. He's turning. I'm not turning him. So now he turned again, so I'm bumping him. Here is Ren screaming. No, nope, I'm bumping him again. So I put leg on him so he moves, and every time he turns the wrong way. There he goes. Okay, he decided to leave. Good. Now we're still heading towards his friend, so he might speed up. So I'm going to bump him but a little bit lighter, just to slow him down. But I don't want him to think this is the wrong direction. It's good for that guy too. He gets to see his friend come and go and come and go. And then he's going to get his turn. <laughs> and I'll get their turn. No, don't let him get you in trouble. He's a little fast, but not, not that bad. 
compared to what he was. And usually once they get by this arena here and their stall, they'll slow down because then they're going away from their friends. So we'll see. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Uh, you gotta know what the right answer is, so you gotta tell them. Good job. Did I see him slow down? Oh. He sped up and then he slowed down. He sped up and slowed down. Don't talk to your friend. He'll get you in trouble. So I'm gonna go up here. You can give them rest, you can give them treats, you can let them graze. I like to let them graze because they should have grass anyhow. And then uh, again, when they turn, when you turn them around towards the barn, just make it uncomfortable. 